In this video, we'll be looking at how to analyze and source products to sell in your online business, particularly on eBay and Amazon. If you're starting from a blank slate, deciding what to buy can be a fairly daunting prospect. There are 18,000 categories on Amazon, 15,000 categories on eBay, and 6,000 categories on Alibaba. Alibaba is a popular Chinese product sourcing site. From my experience, here are some rules of thumb of products to avoid. Large bulky items like furniture are difficult to post and expensive to store. Furniture, for example, is usually sized outside the normal range of size for couriers, which means it is very expensive to ship. You should also avoid fragile items. Larger items like furniture can be fragile, but there are also lots of smaller items which are fragile, for example, light bulbs. Licensed products can be a problem, and by this I mean things like alcohol or medical products. These products will probably require a license to sell, and the number of sellers on a platform is probably restricted. You should also avoid low margin products. Before you purchase any products, work out the margins on the products that you are buying. If you're looking to get inspiration for what are hot products at the moment, there are a number of free sources online that you can consult. Google Trends gives information about popular keyword searches on Google. Many of these keyword searches will be related to products. This Google Trends screen shows interest in the search term phone case over time. We can see the interest over time here, the amount of searches. We can see the regions in which this search term was queried. And we can also down here see related queries. So we can see, for example, that iPhone 12 is a popular search and the A21 Samsung phone is a popular search. This gives an indication of the kind of phone cases that people are looking for. You can then drill down on a particular search query, see the interest over time on that search query and related search queries. So it would seem here that the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a case which is getting a lot of interest. Another tool from Google is their Keyword Planner. This is part of their Google Ads suite. If you log into your Google Ads account and go to Tools and then Keyword Planner, you can search for keyword ideas. Here I've searched for phone case and you can see here the most popular search queries related to phone case and the average number of monthly searches. You can refine your queries to look at devices here and also other attributes and you can export the results into a spreadsheet. If you have a Google Merchant account, you can look at the best sellers on Google Shopping across a wide range of categories. The best sellers report can be found in the left hand navigation under best sellers. You can choose the country and the category from a wide range of categories. It'll show you the relative demand of the product, the popularity rank, and also whether it is in your inventory or not. You can see top products and also top brands. Using this information, you can see what is hot in a particular category. Other sources of inspiration are more traditional. You can look at websites or print media to see what's being advertised. You can look at competitors to see what they are stocking. And you can also visit high street stores to see what they have on sale and on promotion. Marketplaces are a great source of information on what is selling. Some of this information is free and some has to be paid for. Amazon has a list of best sellers which it publishes on its website across all its categories. If you do search on Google for Amazon bestsellers, you will find a list of the bestsellers across all the categories in rank order. In each category, you can drill down and see subcategories. eBay has a tool accessible from the seller dashboard, which enables sellers to search for keywords and see the best selling products under those keywords. This product is called eBay Terapeak. And if you log into your eBay account and go to sell and then research and then Terapeak product research, you can do a search for keywords. So if we do a search for phone case, we can select the categories and we can also break it down by the product identifier if we want to focus on a particular product. And then we can also select the price, the auction formats and the condition, but on buyer locations and click research. And it'll show us the best selling products which can be found using that search. If you're happy to spend some money to get some better product information, there are a number of tools which collect information from Amazon about historical sales. The two most popular ones are Jungle Scout and Helium 10. 
These calls can be used to see popular products and also look at attributes of those products that might make that product category a good place to source products. These tools are particularly useful if you're going to source your own white label or own brand products. So what are the types of products available for merchants to purchase and sell online? There are a number of categories of products, each of which have their own advantages and disadvantages. Branded products are products made by well-known manufacturers, which already have recognition in the market. These products can be bought from the manufacturer directly or from wholesalers. They are easy to source and can be bought in small quantities. However, their wide availability means that price competition is high. White label products is where you would go to a manufacturer, either in the UK or internationally in a place like China, and you would get your design put on one of their products. The advantage of this is you would have your own product with your own logo on it, which you will be the only seller of. However, your relationship with this product will not be exclusive and other merchants will probably be buying the same products and putting their brand on it. Another option is own label. This is where you would go to a manufacturer and ask them to make a range of products specifically for your business. This is the kind of strategy which is employed by supermarkets own labels as can be seen in this picture. Both white label and own label products have the disadvantage you will almost certainly have to buy larger quantities than you would have branded products. However, you do have a more unique offering. Handmade products are individual items like soaps that you would make yourself and sell on platforms like Etsy and eBay. These have the advantage of being entirely unique to you, but it is, they're difficult to manufacture in large quantities. Dropshipping is where your supplier will ship the product directly from them to your customer. This had the advantage that you do not have to buy the stock in advance. However, when dropshipping products, you lose control of the delivery process and from experience, many dropshippers are of a poor quality. Finally, if you have a bright idea, you can develop your own product from scratch. Bear in mind that it is difficult to create demand where there is not demand for a product already. If you are looking to develop your own white label or own brand products, you should be looking for opportunities on Amazon and other marketplaces where sales are good, but where the current products available are substandard. For example, the products might have poorly optimized listings, so poorly written descriptions, bad images, for example. They may have low reviews. There could be few competing products, or it could be that there's a high volume of searches, but few results. By using filters on products like Helium 10 and Jungle Scout, you can identify these opportunities. Taking an example from Jungle Scout, I've searched in the United Kingdom for baby within baby products. We've looked for sales of a minimum of $250 and a maximum of 50 reviews. So products which have reasonable sales, but are not too well established. And it has generated a list of products. So if you were to look at that products, these are popular products without that many reviews, high sales, but not that many reviews and therefore an opportunity to develop a product which is similar to those products and perhaps optimize it better and perform better in Amazon search. You can also sell the same product on your other channels, for example, website or your Shopify site. When you're looking for suppliers for your products, if you are selling branded products, you should go directly to the manufacturer and see either if they are selling the products directly or they're selling to a wholesaler. If you're looking to get your own white labeled or own label brand products made, there are a number of platforms that enable you to connect directly with manufacturers in the Far East. The most famous of these are Alibaba. There are a number of other ones on this list here, which will also be in the video notes. Finally, if you're calculating margins, remember to include all the costs in your margin calculation. These would normally be the cost of the product, as in how much you buy it for, any taxes, so VAT or sales tax, marketplace fees, these are around 10 to 15% normally, payment processing fees can be anything up to 3%, shipping fees, are frequently shipping is frequently included in the item price and so needs to be factored in. If you're using a fulfillment house like FBA fulfilled by Amazon, there will be storage fees to pay.